Hey, good morning. This is Pastor Varga. We're out at the um, campgrounds today in um, Galatians 4. Let's just look at that for a little bit this morning. It says, now, Galatians 4, 1, I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, differ nothing from the servant, though he be Lord of all. The heir, that's the one that's going to get, when daddy dies, he's going to get it. And he's little, but he's just like a servant and he's learning. He don't get none until daddy dies. But is under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father. That's later time. Even so, we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law. He was born of a virgin, made under the law, uh, to redeem them that were under the law. We were under the law. What did the law do? It was a schoolmaster. Told us about that. We've been reading that in Galatians, and it sent us to hell. Um, made under under law to redeem us, that we might receive the adoption of sons. What a wonderful thing to be adopted into God's family. You know, when you're adopted, uh, you get a new birth certificate, and, and you get the birth certificate with the name of your adoptive uh, parents. Uh, if you adopt someone, uh, they get a birth certificate that shows that they were born of you and that's what we are we're born of God how wonderful uh, because ye are sons God has sent forth the spirit Holy Spirit of his son into your hearts crying out my father very endearing thing like papa or daddy um, we can come to God the father like that we don't have to we can come to him jump up on his lap isn't that good I like it and it says wherefore thou art no more a servant but a son and if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. What do I want to be a child of God and an heir? Albeit then, when ye knew not God, ye did serve unto them which by nature are no gods. But now, after that ye have known God, or rather are known of God, how turn ye again to the weak and beggarly elements, uh, whereunto I desire again to be in bondage? You observe days and months and times and years. I'm afraid of you, least I have bestowed upon your labor in vain. Brethren, I beseech you by this. I am for you. I am as you are. Ye have not injured me at all. You know uh, how through infirmity of the flesh I preached the gospel unto you at first. And my uh, temptation, which was in my flesh, a uh, despi uh, despised not nor rejected but receive me as an angel of God, even as Jesus Christ. Wherefore is then the blessedness uh, ye spake of, for I bear you record, that if I had been possible, you would have plucked out your own eyes and given them for me. They were very good um, converts of Christ and followers of Paul. And I therefore be, have I therefore become your enemy, because I tell you the truth. Now, he's telling the truth about the gospel, and there ain't, ain't no false, there's no worse gospel, a lot of worse gospel out today, too. And they zealously affect you. Be not well, they would exclude you, and you might affect them. But it's good for, it's good to be zealously affected, always in a good thing. And not only when I'm present with you, my little children, of whom I travail in birth again till Christ be formed in you. See, once you get saved, you got to grow and grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. I desire to be present with you now and to charge my voice, for I stand in doubt of you. They ain't doing so good. They're getting in for this, this false work salvation. Liars. Tell me then, desire to be under the law? Do ye not hear the law? For it is written that Abraham had two sons, the one by the bondwoman, the other by the free woman. But he who was of the bondwoman was born after the flesh. That was after Hagar. But as the free woman was by promise, Sarah. Uh, which things are an allegory? For there are the two covenants, the one from the Mount Sinai, uh, which gendereth to bondage, which is Agar. For this Agar is Mount Sinai in Arabia, and answereth to Jerusalem, which now is, and is the bondage with her children. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free which is the mother of us all. As it is written, Rejoice, thou barren, that bearest not. Break forth and cry, thou that travailest not. For thou desolate may be more children than that which of the husband. Now we, brethren, as Isaac was 
are children of the promise, the promise of, of salvation through Christ. But as them that were born after the flesh persecuted him that was born after the spirit, even as ye know now, and that started right from the front. Nevertheless, what saith the scripture? That's what, what's, what, does, what does Bible say? What does Bible, what say scripture? Cast out the bondwoman and her son, for the son of bondwoman shall not be heir with the sons of the free woman. That's the difference between work salvation that takes you to hell and grace through faith, uh, uh, through Sarah. So then, brethren, we are not children of the bondwoman, but of the free. And that's the fourth chapter. And it's a great chapter, and I hope you're saved by grace through faith. This whole book of Galatians talks about Judaizers and false teachers. And we have a lot today. They say, if you don't do this, that, and the other thing, you're not saved. They become judges, and uh, they don't keep the law, and they expect you to, and they're false prophets. So salvation is by grace through faith. Repent. Be honest about your sin. Call upon the name of the Lord. Trust in his shed blood and his resurrection. You can be saved. You know if you're not saved. Would you get saved today if you're not? Because if, you, if you're not saved, you're going to hell. Why don't you get saved and go to heaven? Pray the prayer with me. Lord, thank you for the shed blood of Jesus Christ, the power of the resurrection. The best I know how with all this heart, as he shows us very clearly in Galatians 4, this whole book of Galatians talks about the foolishness of another gospel, work salvation. But the grace of God, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. Pray this prayer with me if you're not saved and you want to. Dear Lord Jesus, I believe you died for me and shed your precious blood on Calvary's cross and rose from the grave the third day. And the best I know how, with an honest, sincere heart, I repent, I turn from my sins, I change my mind about my sins. I believe you died for me and shed your precious blood and were buried and rose again. The best I know how with an honest heart, I turn from my sins, I receive you as my Savior. And Lord, you said, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thine heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And the Bible says in Romans 10, 13, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And I'm calling upon you right now, Lord. Save me, forgive my sins. Mark it down. This is the day, this is the moment. I've trusted Christ. Amen and amen.